Good day everyone! Today we will be applying what we have learned from the previous videos about the different kinds of proportion. But let's recall first the different kinds of proportion we have here direct, indirect, and partitive proportion. When you say direct, it is when an increase in one quantity causes the increase of the other quantity and when a decrease in one quantity causes the decrease of the other quantity. When you say indirect, it is when the increase in one quantity causes the decrease of the other quantity or it is when the decrease of one quantity causes the increase of the other. When you say partitive, a whole is divided into parts proportional to the given ratio. Now let's read a story for today about my precious time. On Fridays, Nori divides her day between sleep, play, and study in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 2. How many hours does she spend playing? Okay, before solving this problem, let's identify first what kind of proportion is this? Is this direct proportion or indirect or inverse or partitive proportion? Okay, so if you're going to analyze, Nori divides her day. So from our keyword here, divides her day between sleep, play, and study in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 2. Therefore, this is a partitive proportion. A whole is, div is divided into parts proportional to the given ratio. So here, these three parts here is for sleep, and this one part is for play, and this two here is for study. So the question here is, how many hours does she spend playing? Let's divide and visualize it. So we have here three parts. Okay, so we have one, two, three parts. And this is one part of the whole and two parts of the whole. But what is the what is the whole? What is the total? What do you think? So our whole here is day. Right? So in one day, there is 24 hours. So what we're going to write here is 24 hours because the question here is how many hours does she spend playing so what we're gonna do in a partitive proportion problem we add the terms we have here three plus one plus two we have here six then we divide the total which is 24 to the sum of the terms so we have here four and each part here it has four equal parts so we have here four 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 and to find for our answer, how many hours does she spend playing? Okay, how many how many parts in in playing? Do you think it's three, one, or two? So again, for the sleep, it has three parts. For play, it has one part, and for study, it has two parts of the day. So what we're gonna get is just for play, which is this one. So we multiply one times four. Then our answer here is how many hours does she spend playing? Uh, Nori spends four hours playing. If you want also to check how many hours does she spend sleeping and studying, all you need to do is to multiply each term by the quotient, which is 12 hours is the answer. This is for sleeping. And this one is 2 times 4. This is 8 hours for studying then again you don't need to solve this because the only question is how much how many hours does she spend playing so this is just only the answer four hours let's have more examples now if a kilogram of grapes cost 190 pesos how much will five kilograms of grapes cost now let's identify first what kind of proportion is this so if you buy 1 kilo of grapes, it will cost 190. Now, if you're going to buy 5 kilograms of grapes, do you think it is more than 190 or less than 190? So if you're going to buy more, you're going to pay more, right? So this is an example of direct proportion. So to solve this direct proportion, we just have to uh, make a table and write the given here in one in a in one kilogram, it costs 190 pesos. 
if it is 5 kilograms, how much will it cost? So, it's Rn. And since this is direct, what we're going to do is to cross multiply, right? So, we have here 1 times N is equal to 5 times 190. So, we have here 1 times N is equal to 190 times 5. We have 0, 45, carry 4. That is 9. And our answer here is 9. And divide both sides by 1, which is still equal to 1. Okay. Still the same answer. So, we have N is equal to 950 pesos. So, how much will it cost for 5 kilograms of grapes? It will cost 950 pesos. Next, 15 men can do a work in 20 days. How many days will 25 men finish the same work? Let's analyze first and identify what kind of proportion is this. So, if, in, if 15 men can work in 20 days, how many days will 25 men finish the same work? So, again, if more people will do the job, lesser time would be able to finish it. And given that, they will finish the same work. So, this is an example of indirect proportion. Okay? So, we have here for 15 men, it will take 20 days to finish the job. And if it is 25 men, how long will it take or how many days? will be able to finish it so for sure our answer should be less than 20 days because there are more men who will do the job so we have here um and since this is indirect proportion what we're gonna do is to just multiply in the same row so we have here 15 times 20 is equal to 25 times n and when we multiply 15 times 20, we have here, okay, so we have here 300 equals 25 times n, divide both sides by 25. So we can cancel out this 25 and we have only here, have n here, divide 300, divided by 25, that is 1, 25, 52. Okay. So, our answer here is 12. So, how many days will 25 men finish the same work? It will only take 12 days. Next example, the ratio of Ryan's weight to Mark's weight is 5 is to 7. Their total weight is 120 kilograms. Find Ryan's weight. So, take note that if you're going to analyze the problem, the given is the total weight. So, the total weight of the two people are the two men so we have ryan and mark therefore if we're dealing with the total the whole is divided into parts in the given ratio then we are talking about partitive proportion so what we're gonna do for step one we have here five plus seven that is twelve then divide 120 divided by 12 which is 10 okay so no more remainder so each part in the ratio or in each part is 10. Then we're going to multiply it with 5. So we have here 5 times 10. We have here 50, 50 kilograms. And this one is 7 times 10 is 70 kilograms. Now we have here uh, the, the, the value of each term. But the question here is only Ryan's weight. So what do you think is, uh, which do you think here is Ryan's weight? Is it the 50 kilograms or the 70 kilograms? Now let's go back to the given. The ratio of Ryan's weight to Mark's weight. So this is Ryan's weight and this is Mark's weight. So to find for the Ryan's weight, we'll, you just have to multiply 5 times the quotient here, which is 10. So the answer here, so the uh, Ryan's weight is 50 kilograms. Next example, the ratio of the perimeter of a triangle is 5 is to 5 is to 2. What is the perimeter or the perimeter is 60 centimeters. What is the length of the shortest side? So let's analyze the problem and let's see what kind of proportion is this. So when we talk about perimeter, that means that is the distance 
around the shape and the perimeter of a triangle it says here that it is 60 centimeters so uh, we are looking for the the length of the shortest side and this is the shortest side so we need to find for the or this is an example of a partitive proportion so to find for the partitive proportion we add the given ratio or given term we add it we have here 12 and the perimeter is 60 which is the total so 60 divided 12 we have 5 so each part we have each part will have 5 five parts and um, we multiply I will multiply it we multiply this five to the shortest side which is two so we have here ten and our answer here is ten centimeters the shortest side is ten centimeters last example we have here eight takes ten days for three salesmen to sell five thousand boxes of soap if two more salesmen are added, how long would it take to sell five boxes of soap? So, we have here a problem that deals with what kind of proportion. Now, let's analyze. So, if it takes 10 days, so we have here 10 days for three salesmen to sell 5,000 boxes of soap. And if we add two more salesmen, so the three becomes five. And then how long will it take to sell 5,000 boxes of soap if two, two more salesmen are added? So what do you think is this kind of proportion? So we have here indirect proportion. Because if there are more men who will help in selling the boxes of soap, then it will take only few days instead of 10 days. So since this is indirect proportion problem, we don't need to cross multiply but instead we multiply with the same rows to find for the value of n so we have here 5 times n is equal to 3 times 10 or 10 times 3 or you can also write it as 3 times 10 is equal to n times 5 regardless it's a commutative property of multiplication so we have here um, 5 times n is equal to 30 then Divide both sides by 5, so we can cancel out the 5, and we leave here n, and find the answer we have here 6. So, <clears throat> how long will it take? It will take only 6 days to sell the 5,000 boxes of soap if they, if the there are 5 men will sell it. So, that's about the different kinds of proportion. I hope that you learned something from the lesson.